My name is Neil Gallagher. I live in Brunswick. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Parker and board members, and uh, Chairman Parker, excuse me, Commissioner Mercer, and DEP staff. Before approving the revised mining rules, ask yourself if you know of a single case at any time anywhere in the world where extensive mining did not lead to any significant damage or where there was full remediation and the responsible company fully covered all the costs. If you know of such a case, I would like to know it. I have personal experience with how mining works. I grew up in Scranton, Pennsylvania, once the coal capital of the country, within a block of an exhausted anthracite breaker and the huge pile of tailings called column it left behind. It was ugly, but our neighborhood was fortunate in that it never caught fire. Many of the column piles did, and the fires can burn for decades, stinking, causing respiratory diseases, and peeling off house paint. Some communities never recover. And then I have a link to a, uh, an article about a town near Scranton where there was a fire in 2014. I know that DEP and the mining companies will say, oh, that was a different era. That was not Maine, and coal is not the resource here. All very true, yet the basics are the same. Corporations are machines made to make money. And when there is an activity that loses money, they drop it and they find a way to avoid paying for the consequences, or they go bankrupt and leave the local jurisdictions holding the bag. This is what happened in the coal region. This is what happened with the Callahan mine, closed to mining in 1972 and still fouling the beautiful Brooksville area. And this is what will happen to Bald Mountain or to any other potential mine in Maine. The only protection an area has is to get an irrevocable, bond, an irrevocable bond from the company that is more than sufficient to pay for all remediation that may be required. The safeguards in these regulations do not come close to doing that. It is an open question whether any upper bound can be put on the cost of the environmental damage that mining could cause, or whether a price could be put on permanent damage to an area's land, air, or water. Uh, I don't have this in the uh, text because I just learned it from earlier testimony, but the uh, amount of uh, money required for fixing Callahan was set at 23 million. And as we heard, it's gone up to 45 million. The contingency fee that's uh, proposed in these rules is 20%. And if you do the math, the difference between 45 million and 23 million is a lot more than 20%. The new version of DEP's mining rules is just a warmed over version of the first two and will do nothing to prevent mining companies from coming in, squeezing out all the profits they can, and leaving a legacy of pollution for Maine to suffer from and pay for for generations. And the environment may never recover. You are the Board of Environmental Protection. Please follow the lead of both the 126th and 127th legislatures and reject these mining rules, which protect no one except the mining companies. Thank you. Any questions? 